Hello everyone, Hector Mendoza here. Today I'm going to post four videos on how to create a world map. You know, like let's say you want to use it for a logo or whatever you want to use it for in Adobe Illustrator. So on one of them, uh, if you notice, the horizontal lines are um, arch different on one side than the other then I have another one that if you want it arch actually that one will be the same way let me see here no so you see I have this one arched this way and then this one's arched this way so on this other one I have it arched this direction and then this direction then I have another uh, world map with just straight lines so there's a lot of ways of doing it so I'm just gonna uh, do four of them I could probably do 20 different ones and still find other ways but uh, so I broke it down into four different videos so if you do a search for create world using the shape builder tool version one then I got the version two uh, world map using blend tool create world map using blend tool with an arch so those are going to be my f uh, four different videos the first thing I want to do is organize my windows and my tools so one thing we're going to be using are layers so if I go to windows I go to layers this this layers will show up here right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this box take it to the right until you see that blue line release it and it snaps to that uh, right line okay the next one I want to use is stroke so if I go to stroke it opens up here and I'm gonna stick this right here right next to the layer and you see that blue line you release it uh, another one I want to use is stroke uh, let me see swatches okay uh, so if I go to swatches it'll show up here and then I'm just gonna put him in there now I got layers strokes and uh, swatches some tools that we're gonna be using and the main ones are gonna be my elliptical tool so if you click here if you left click and select one of these tools yours might look like this okay so if you left click it then if you you just go down to elliptical tool that's the one we're going to use so I released it there so that the next time I go to that area I'm going to be using that particular one also you see right here yours might look like this or it might look like this we want to make sure we left click and uh, select line segment because that's the one we're going to be using now this tool right here this is the builder no the shape builder tool that yours might look like this or it might look like this okay so if you left click just left click on the shape builder tool now now we're organized now it's gonna make it real easy for us to continue the first thing we want to do is make sure that both of us are using the page setup options so if you hit control alt and P oh here make sure you click here control alt P you'll get this dialog that says document setup one thing we, uh, what I'm going to be using is points you can use picas inches feet any one of those millimeters centimeters meters well for this particular one let's use points that way we don't have to worry about three sixteenths of an inch and so forth but let's for, for right now let's just use uh, points so hit OK the first thing we're going to do is create a circle so we're going to go to the ellipse tool 
and all we're going to do is just left click on the left hand side or anywhere right I want you to type 300 and then you can hit tab and type 300 that'll give us a perfect uh, a 300 by 300 uh, circle because if you don't you know you could actually uh, you could make it oblong by accident so we want to make sure that it's not up long like that now the next thing I want to go ahead and do is select it I want you to hit control X then the next thing I want you to do is hit control 0 and hit control V that way it places it right dead center of your page so let me show you uh, you don't have to do this but I want to show you what would happen so I'm gonna hit control X I'm gonna move my page up here and I'm gonna hit control V you see where it placed it it placed it right dead center of my page and that's not what we want to make things easier uh, I'm gonna hit delete I'm gonna hit control zero and hit control V and that places it right dead center that's the first you know we want to make sure that's uh, the first thing we do the next thing I want to do is I want to duplicate this circle the easiest way to duplicate this circle in the same spot and this everything exactly the way it is here if you go to layers you see these three little uh, lines down here it's either three or four it's hard to see but you know it, this lines right here if you left click you see right here you have the option of duplicating layer one before we do that let's let's get a little more organized since this is my circle I'm gonna double click here on this layer and I'm gonna call it circle okay hit enter now while I have circle selected I can go in here and now it'll say duplicate circle so I'll click on duplicate circle now you see I can turn off my layers the view if I turn this one on you can see there's a circle if I turn it off there's nothing there go to the left I got a circle now I don't um, and I'll show you how to lock those later and, and, and there's a good reason for them I, I don't know if I need it on this particular uh, video or not but for right now this is the first thing I want uh, you to do the next thing I want to do is create some lines and we're going to use the line segment tool for this so let's um, go to that tool you see right here the line segment tool we're gonna click on this anywhere I don't care where, just start on the left hand side I want you to left click drag it to the right hold your shift key so watch this see if if you don't hold your shift key you can take it uh, uh, out of it won't be straight so if you hold your shift key see it keeps you from making it on straight so just put it in where I don't care where you put it release it now I want you to sel to uh, select the selection tool okay now when I ask you to use particular tools uh, there's a reason why we do that but now while I have this line selected look up here so this is your X this is your Y this is your width okay so that's X coordinates Y coordinate this is the width of the line and this is the you know uh, the point of the line so on the width of this line we're gonna you see you see how I double click here I want to change that to a uh, 400 and I'm gonna hit enter now while I still have this selection tool and have this uh, line tool uh, selected I'm gonna hit control X I'm gonna hit control zero I know I haven't changed it but I, don't, I have a habit of hitting control zero zero all the time and then I'm gonna hit control V that places that line directly on top of that circle now there's two ways of getting this line and the top to be equal to each other horizontally we're gonna do it the easy way while I have this line selected I'm gonna hold my shift key okay, okay so it, it deselected so keep holding your shift key 
select it and then then you can move it up okay now when you are moving it up you're gonna see you see how it says intersected and it's snapped to it first I want you to release your mouse and then you can release your um, shift key now what we're going to do is we're gonna duplicate it keep it in the same center and we're gonna m copy it and move it down right oops excuse me right to here so, okay so deselect everything I want you to hit shift control alt I want you to click on the line with your left uh, mouse you're gonna go down and you're gonna snap to the bottom of that you'll see it's you see how it snapped right there you're gonna release your mouse and then you can release all your other keys everything right now is centered so uh, I'll let you catch up with me go ahead and do that so for this lesson I want you to select this line okay and you'll see it selected I want you to hold the shift key and select the next line now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to objects we're gonna go to blend we're gonna go blend object uh, 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 options under the spacing I want to use special steps or specified steps and here I want to click on 9 and you can click on this uh, uh, orientation and then you hit OK now you go back to objects go to <clears throat> blend this time I want you to make and now you have in between those two lines you got one two three four five six seven eight nine nine lines in between those two horizontal lines so go ahead and do that uh, and I tell you what before we uh, let's go ahead and duplicate this so right now this line is if you see this little blue dot here it tells you what um, <clears throat> what layer it's in right so let's go ahead click on this lines and let's create a new light uh, layer and let's call this uh, horizontal lines okay and let's hit OK now right now these lines are not on that layer we created when you select something you see that little blue dot it's telling you where in relations to your layers it is so I want you to grab that little line a uh, uh, blue blue dot and move it up now let me show you if you click here it hides the line if okay so now if I click here it, it you didn't see it but it it um, it uh, now you can't see it so look I'm gonna click here you don't see this one here right but if I click here you see it so I have I have a circle here which is uh, the uh, circle copy and I got the circle so this is where we're at right now so I'll let you catch up with me so on this version we're gonna do something a little bit different than the other version that I have it's a duplicate of this same video except that here we're gonna do something different and what it is is when we select this lines right here we're gonna go to object we're gonna go to envelope distort we're gonna uh, make a wrap and so here we're gonna select uh, squeeze um, yeah right squeeze and we're gonna use vertical instead of horizontal we're gonna keep this at 50 we're gonna hit OK we're gonna go 
and change the height and width of this remember you see how this is selected right here on the left I don't want that I want to make sure that we have this selected right in the center so on the width we're gonna to go to let's say um, 315 but on the height we're gonna to go to 400 so what I just did there was I make sure that this arch here is right at the top of that uh, top of the circle and this arch going the opposite way is on right there at the bottom of that arch so now what we need to do is uh, we need to go in here go to objects we want to go ahead and um, you see go down to envelope distort I want you to expand otherwise we won't be able to finish this last thing where I'm about to do so we click there now that I have this selected I can go ahead and select everything the circle and that uh, uh, arch so now what we would do is go right here to um, shape tool builder you'll see your um, mouse selection with a plus I want it to turn into a, uh, a minus so you hold your alt key and you just go around the outside of the circle making sure that you go in between the circle and those points do the same thing to the other side hold your alt go around the circle and in between those last little points that you see selected and then that removes it so now that's the other version but before we continue we want to go ahead and enlarge this area uh, there's two ways of doing it on the other uh, version I showed you one way I'm going to show you on a different uh, different way on this one so I'm going to click on direct selection tool I'm going to click the bottom one and I'm just gonna hit delete delete I'm gonna go down to this last uh, last one okay I'm just gonna hit delete delete my other version of my video I show you another way to doing it so watch my other video but remember my other video you see how these lines are going this direction and going this direction on the other one they're all going that same uh, actually excuse me on the other one is going this direction and then this direction so watch that other video let me continue on finishing this one uh, world map the next thing we're gonna do is create the vertical lines if you remember earlier we had create 80 copies of this circle we did it here and we did it here so it doesn't matter which we use and uh, we did one too many but it's always better to have more than none we can always remove them so let's go to the circle and let's go ahead and view that one and close this one so if you use your direct selection tool do not use the selection tool use the direct selection tool left click on it hover around here until you see that little square okay I want you to left click on it and it should be selected like this while this is selected I want you to hit the delete button and it should look just like this the next thing I want to do is I want to click on the selection tool it selects this now you're not gonna see what we're doing right away but just follow exactly what I'm telling you I want you to hit control C what we just did it we just copied this to the uh, clipboard now I want you to hit control F don't worry about it you're not seeing nothing 
but there are now two lines on top of each other because of the command keys we use it duplicated it right on top of each other the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, we're gonna mirror that circle that we just uh, duplicated so I want you to go to the reflect tool now if yours looks like uh, rotate it might look like that I want you to left click on it hold, hold your left click down and then select rotate tool now you can double click here and you see a preview and this comes up right here this is exactly what we want if yours looks like this that's not what I want okay if yours looks like this this is the one we want vertical it has to look just like that okay hopefully you know hopefully yours has preview that way you can see what you're doing so make sure you have preview and then I want you to hit OK now I want you to go and click on your selection tool okay and then oops okay uh, while this is selected, I want you to hold the shift key that is selected. Sorry about that. Hold your shift key, click again, and then I want you to move this to the left until you see an intersection. You'll see, you see that line right there? You see how we have a line going horizontal, vertical, uh, it's a magenta looking color line. Hopefully yours looks the same. Now release your left mouse, release the shift key, and this is what you have. We're, uh, we're real close. Now I want you to select everything. I want to make sure that your fill, that you know, is sitting at zero. I don't want, the, one thing we don't want is, let's say, that it looks like this right here solid right I want this to look like this otherwise it's not gonna work now all we have to do is go to edit we're gonna go to blend options and we're gonna pick the number nine just like I used on the line segments on the horizontal we're using the same amount of segments on steps so we're gonna hit OK make sure you have this selected it doesn't really matter but I want you to select this and then I want you to hit OK nothing happened not yet now the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna to go to object <clears throat> blend and make now you have that circle so uh, I mean that blend so now let's go to layers and let's turn everything on and now you got yourself a world map so let's say that you were looking at this and you didn't like that that you maybe you thought there was too many uh, vertical lines or let's say you wanted more vertical lines before you uh, distort it you can actually go in here and uh, here let's go and select the uh, so let's turn that off and let's select this right here you still have the option to go to your blend you see your blend option you can change that let's say to a 20 and hit OK now you got 20 lines or you can go back go to blend options and change it back to 9 okay you hit OK you can turn that on <clears throat> now you could even put a shadow we're not going to get into all that but there's a lot of things you can do uh, to this so that is how you do it this way I have another video that will show you how to make it where the lines are facing this way everything everything is going in the same direction right now we got the lines going this direction and then at the bottom we got them going the opposite direction so 
if you like it the other way watch my other video thank you for watching my video if you like my videos please give me a thumbs up and if you're not a subscriber um, it, you know please just subscribe to me I teach a bunch of things I'm a uh, I don't I can't even list everything I teach but uh, hopefully you'll enjoy some of my videos thank you for watching my videos I'll see you on the next one